वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू द पार्ट फोर ऑफ द सोशल मीडिया क्लोन प्रोजेक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू फिनिश अप द अकाउंट एप्लीकेशन दैट मीन्स आवर लॉग इन लॉग आउट एंड साइन अप कैपेबिलिटीज बाई सेटिंग अप द लॉग इन एंड लॉग आउट यू आर एल्स एंड आवर सेटिंग्स ऑन सेटिंग्स डॉट पी वाई फाइल सो क्रिएटिंग टू मोर टेम्पलेट फॉर दैट एंड देन वी विल ऑल्सो सेट अप द माइग्रेशन so we are going to um, continue with the accounts application right where we left off from the previous lecture <coughs> okay so here uh, i am my uh, text editor remember in the previous lecture we finished of creating our base html file what we need to do is set up the log and redirect url and log out re redirect url that the login and log out views are going to call and we are going to need to do that within our settings.ufl so go to uh, simple social settings dot py file and uh, then these usually go all the way at the bottom uh bottom so uh, i scroll all the way down and uh, we are going to set up a two variable so you are going to say login underscore redirect underscore url so this is the login redirect and uh, we will have this redirect to a test page and then we will have our logout underscore redirect underscore uh, uh, url okay and uh, i am going to have that uh, be equal to a uh, thanks page so we will save that and now that we have said test and thanks let's actually create those templates so we are going to create those templates inside of our top level uh, templates so in the same directory we are based on html and indexed uh, html so we will say new file and i am going to call this file text html and i will create one more file under templates new file and i will say thanks to html thanks dot html and let's uh, set those up so the uh, test uh, i am just going to test this basically we are going to say extends from base dot html and uh, we are going to say block uh, content and uh, put this inside of uh, uh, actually we don't need a, a container we just need to say h1 you are now logged in uh, okay then expl exclamation point and then we'll just actually we'll just have that uh, to be okay so we'll save that that's essentially going to be our test page to see if logging is worked once we log in it should take us to the page you are now logged in and then uh, in our thanks uh, dot html page this is going to be the logout so we'll say extend base dot html i will call the content block here and then we'll say h1 uh, okay inside that h1 we'll say thanks for visiting come back soon so that's a kind of the typical logout thing you usually see in a website so if you log out of facebook you usually see oh thank you for visiting come back soon etc 
earlier we see these types of things so that's our login and logout so login view uh, from django 1.11 essentially going to look for those variables which are then uh, going to connect to these html files so now that we created those html files what we need to do is actually set them up with the views dot py and uh, urls dot py of our simple social app <coughs> so in the simple social project come over to views dot py uh, right uh, now we just have our home page view i'm going to add in the test page and the thanks page and i will say class test page and i'm going to again use template view here and then just set my template name equal to uh, test html and i will set uh, one more for the actual things uh, one more page so we'll say thanks page and this is going to be a template view and this will say template name is equal to thanks dot uh, html perfect now i am going to save that and uh, since we have these uh, in our views we are going to connect these to our urls dot py so let's do that come uh, over to urls dot py this is our project urls dot py file and we will say url and uh, yeah you are here well and then uh, we are going to use regular expression here we will say something like uh, carrot symbols and uh, but but you can uh, see you need to uh, convert these into the path expression because in the latest django path expression is working only path url okay so you just convert that regular expression urls that uh, using chat gpt and uh, it will convert into path and uh, then you can give the this path test forward as dollar symbol okay so i will say here views dot uh, test page dot view dot okay dot edge view so we will call it as a view and then let's give it the name test and then we will say url uh, so here also i am using the irregular expression but you need to follow the path and then i am going to say here for thanks space just like we have done for test pin and let's connect that to views uh, that the things page as a view and we'll give that the name okay thanks okay so save that so now our url patterns are done okay let's move on to the next step which is to migrate all the changes we did to accounts so in this case here i will say python manage.py make migrations accounts then hit enter and let that run great so it created the model user okay and now i am going to say python manage.py migrate hit enter and we should 
see it uh, should have applied those migrations okay let's check and see if this actually worked okay so we uh, may have to do some debugging we will say python manage dot py and then run our server so we got no bugs there so we may have to do a little debugging but right now uh, looking good i'm going to uh, hop over to the uh, browser and uh, here i am the browser uh, okay so let refresh and see what we get so it says template syntax error invalid uh, blog line 17 static so did you forget to register or load this tag uh, okay so i probably did so let's make sure it's actually registered and we can see right here it's happening based on html error at line 17 so let's fix that i will go back to my base dot html file so let me come back here and uh, here in my base dot html file i can see i am using a static call okay you need to load static files at the top of this page so and uh, this blow this doc type i am going to call load is static static files okay and if you write load static also it will work okay for according to the latest Django so now let's try this again we'll come back to the browser and uh, it says welcome to star social okay uh, it's looking pretty uh, good 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 one right okay so we can see we have a basic navigation bar we have a star social group login and sign up so right now groups should not really do anything but login and sign up should uh, okay so let's practice signing up so when we click sign up and you can see here it's actually looks really nicely formatted here and you can see here it actually uh, nice and you can see these there's an extra stuff about the password and the record 150 characters or few other that's what bootstrap uh, 3 library is doing for us but now bootstrap 5 have better uh, appearances so it's upon you if you use bootstrap 5 then you will get the better view so i'm going to say my uh, display name is test user and uh, my email address is going to be test uh, at the rate gmail.com and the password is going to be a uh, test password and uh, then we will confirm our uh, password with test password uh, let's click uh, sign up okay so this is okay let's click on sign up so it signed uh, up and redirected us to the login page as we expected and it kind of auto fills for me because i'm using chrome right now which is kind of memorizing the username password so let's make sure this is working so uh, basically i'm going to log in and it says please correct username so wrong username it should be a test user and then let me sure let me make sure my password is also correct text password which i have entered at the time of sign up now i'm going to log in and then boom yeah it says now you are logged in perfect and uh, i can see here the actual navigation bar has changed now i have post 
and create the group i also have a logout so let's test with logout make sure that's working and it says thanks uh, for uh, visiting so come back soon it's fantastic looks like everything is working for us so we are going to do is in the uh, what we do it will i will tell you in the next lecture so we'll continue on by moving to post and groups and we kind of have to work with those simultaneously so we are not going to be uh, able to work on a single application like we just did here but since they are so connected and it should be relatively straightforward as far as working with them in sync okay so i am going to end it here and i will see you in the next uh, lecture